All right, finalist of the night playing uh, anti, uh, aka dickface meta, <laughs> Dalton. Well, so let's just get started. Since it's anti metal, obviously, we're gonna play the triple Falasa Dyna. Falasa? Most people, uh, so Blue Eyes is very heavy right now. So, also, this is not my deck. I'm gonna say right now, this is not my deck. I borrowed this from a friend, Josh, who is also recording this at the moment. Breaking it out. So, Falasa Dyna, obviously, best choice. Stop special, um, both players from special summoning, but you're playing anti meta, so when do you actually special summon? Almost never. Um, normal summon it. Blue eyes play if in your first turn, blue eyes players can't do anything about it unless they like Regeki it. If they play Regeki, uh, playing at three, obviously too good. Uh, next up, triple banisher of the radiance. Obviously, for decks with lots of graveyard control, again, like blue eyes, or I played DDD today. Uh, who else did I play? Uh, there was an Insector player today, unfortunately I didn't get to play him. Obviously, control their graveyard. You don't have anything in the graveyard to touch, so Banish is just a great card. 16 beater, again, blue eyes. None of the blue eyes, normal monsters. Normal summon monsters can get over it. Uh, next up is the big T King himself, Thunder King Ryo. Preventing, you don't have any search cards in this deck, all you got is draw power, so obviously having the big T down prevents anyone from searching the deck like, I don't know, Melo, what was that? Melody's Dragon Call for the Blue Eyes Yeah, player. Melody of, of Dragon Awakening, yeah. And then there's the Insector player with his Insector Centipede to search the deck. All right. So in other words, no special summons, banish all your stuff, and no searching. Yep. Um, the one barrier, obviously just to fuck with Blue Eyes players, um, Earth being the most unused um, element, so... Although we did have a Klee Demise deck tonight. Yeah. Net oh, zero. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a Klee Demise deck, unfortunately, well, and Earth was the most, yeah. uh, least prominent deck to be seen. Yes. Um, it, it was almost a water statue. That would not have gone well. <laughs> one, Guiding. Um, you play a lot of counter traps. We'll go over it later on where just to prevent some life points draining. And then we're going into the spells. For the spells, three moon mirror shields, obviously to protect all the small guys, just in case some people get over it. Or if you got a big monster on your their opponent's board because they went first, you can just run over it with a midget. If you remember to attack. If you remember to attack. Which you key, key points. Key Thank point, you. Guys, is to Thank attack. you, Adam. Because. <laughs> Because I failed to do that twice in the finals, as you guys just watched. Feel free to comment any uh, thoughts and or opinions to that match, by the way. <laughs> uh, three pot of dualities, because then again, we, this is not considered a search card. Oh wait, it is. It is considered it is. a search <laughs> card. The only thing that gets blocked in the whole deck by um, Thunder King. King. I just play it before you play Thunder. Exactly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Next, we got. <laughs> the, the playmaker of the deck. <laughs> Triple card of demise. Card of demise. Literally saved my ass several times, including part of the wild during the finals. Yeah. Man, I cannot explain how many times this card saved my butt. Like, cannot go wrong in MVP. this deck. Uh, two magical planters. Obviously, sometimes we'll get like dead traps. Like, why would I have two loser turns? And I've came across some games with two loser turns, but we'll go. Over yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one seal or Kalkos. Because you know souls and all y'all. Just to make your midges a bit bigger and give them a beat stick. It's for intimidation. Also blows up all our special summon monsters, which you know, come on. But we don't do we don't do that stuff, you know. Draw obviously reduce the deck count to 39. I don't even know what the deck count would be all, with all the dualities and the card demise right. and stuff, dude. <laughs> well, Playing like a 20 card deck, dude. Uh, Rageki, obviously board wipe. Oh, MVP of the finals, that's for MVP sure. MVP of the finals saved my butt. And now we're going into the traps. Uh, main, my friend main decks three dark bribes. Why? Because I don't like twin twisties, that's why. And I definitely saved my butt in the end game again with me. Stopping a lot of stuff. You can have your draw. Yeah, you can have the draw. I want my back row. Mm -hmm. um, 
triple phantom knight sword because who doesn't like making midgets freaking beat sticks? Yeah. And who doesn't like saving the oh I made a misplay first uh first game. Um I, I accepted the reggae instead of chaining this and saving the the frost dino. Mistake yes, that yes. I realized literally right after the fact. It's okay, we learned from our mistakes. Yeah, so I'm learning today. Uh what else? I got Oh whoa. whoa. Also fodder for planter as well. I may as well just put this one out, even though it's a one of the solemn brigade. Come on, like yes. Your opponent has a board. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out, people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like we and you've I been warned. <laughs> yeah. Like I cannot explain how good the solemn the solemn brigade is. Just uh, two mirror forces, two quaking mirror forces, because man. We like to protect. And I just want to give a shout out to James, who was actually the Blue Eyes player in the Fine. one. He, it was actually his idea to run the two Quaking and the two Mirror Force, as opposed to just three Quaking. Thank you, James. And to round off our stopping special summons and effects, uh, two lose one turns. I don't know how many times I've actually drawn into both during the game, but going back to that uh, whole ma magic platter. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to lose them. Sometimes you just gotta just lose a turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting into the side deck. Yeah. So going into the side deck, I personally put in one Kaiku, cause you know what? I just liked it. <laughs> uh, he cited it. He has a, a dimensional fissure for obvious different reasons. Sometimes you just want to mess up people's graveyards, you know? Yeah. And you know because D fissures at one. What can, how can you go wrong with the one macro cosmos? Yeah. Except the fact that it can be warning, but you know. I know. But you know, vanity's emptiness, obviously, special stop special summoning. Mm -hmm. for, those, case. for those decks who searched and my T Kings just weren't there, got mind crushes. Yep. And even for more stopping the searching, we got people who need to make mistakes here. They made a mistake and they were crushed, what can we say? Yep. Um for like Light and Dark decks, we got Chaos Trap Pull. Uh, Which can also be searched by Ariana Grande, just saying. Yeah. And then I cited in two more, um, and the pen plays on. Did you side those in for the Blue Eyes player? I did not side these in for the Blue Eyes player. Do you feel like you didn't need it? Uh, the reason why I didn't side them in for the Blue Eyes player is because the Blue Eyes player went first, and if I had them on my... If he went first, there's no point of even having him. It was like having two loser turns and two more loser turns. And yes, I mean, sir. going second loser turn was just poop. Cool. That's true. Um, my friend also side deck three MSTs. Reason why we didn't side deck Twin Twisters because we want our we, stuff. We really did not want to discard anything in this deck. We already have a limit at 20 cards in the deck from all the pots. And yes, yes, those are common MSTs. Why? Because I have one secret, one platinum rare, and one super. I didn't want to put that for a deck profile, so it is what it is. It is what it and is. going into the solemnly used but beneficial extra deck. Well, if we ever touch the extra deck, I actually did not look through it too often. We got what is this. I can't even say his name. Honestly, the extra deck is just full of a bunch of rank fours for various opportunities that you might need. So look, Luminescent Light, Gagos Amurai, Dark Rebellion, XYZ Dragon. Ulti. Oh, my favorite, Diamond Dire Wolf. My third favorite, Abyssal Scepter. Abyssal Scepter, gosh, man. <laughs> this is when I used to be a Gravekeeper, guys. Um, Abyss Dweller, duh, to stop graveyard effects. Gaga Cowboy, my second favorite. Sometimes you just want to burn for 800. Right. Tygusto Phoenix. In case you need some more drop power. 106. Heartlander may be random, but come on, guys. We run, like, we run a field spell. Yeah. It stays and, up all the time. Exactly. Sometimes you just want to talk free, directly. Free packs directly. 101, because obviously we want to get rid of the irritating stuff while still having board presence. Castell. Because we can. Because we can own the board. Castell for obvious reasons. Another Gaga Cowboy. I like it. Like I said, we didn't go through this too much. Um, so my friend loaned out one of the cards in the extra deck. So there's a 36. And then the Utopia Rare. And I'm on what was the... Uh, the last one was supposed to be Utopia the Lightning. But Kaya seemed like he needed it more than we would have tonight. And so. obviously, I mean, we didn't even make any XCs <laughs> all night. So. so how do you get them? You just you need two Thunder Kings, right? Yeah, it's either going to be two Thunder, Thunder Kings or you can use an Ariana Grande. 
<laughs> I need to know who's Ariana Grande. Eric. So, the only monsters that you can possibly summon from the extra deck the, with... With the barrier, the... the, the you, can, you can't use a barrier because that's oh, yeah. special summon. You have to use either the Ariana Grande or the Thunder King. And so, so, so you really, you only have three cards that you can really do that with, which is why it's so seldom that it happens. But should you run into an opportunity where you're not feeling secure enough with these two on your field, then overlay. And there you go, guys. And that's our deck profile for the evening, folks. Thank you for tuning in. See you on a Monday. And remember, as always, don't forget to scoop in the end phase.